welcome to the Sandy Swarm. This is the third meetup of the Krakow startup community. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, so many people. Uh, when we started doing this uh, with Ella, uh, I, mean, I never imagined that uh, just uh, four months later we would be standing in front of uh, such a big crowd of uh, people uh, interested in uh, startups and uh, entrepreneurship. So, uh, yeah, so thank you very much for coming and uh, I guess in this way supporting us. Uh, it, really, it really means a lot to us. It uh, gives us the energy and uh, the drive to keep on doing it. And, uh, yeah, speaking of support, I would like to give a uh, big, big thanks to uh, our sponsor tonight, which is Brightberries. Uh, <laughs> They have been amazing in uh, supporting us and the uh, Krakow startup scene. So, uh, if you don't know who they are, there's a link here. Bravo, Mark, could you stand up? Okay. Uh, Make some noise! So, I'm pretty sure if you're running a startup, not only in Krakow, but in Poland in general, at some point you want to talk to them, to ask for their advice, to ask for their money, to ask for whatever they can offer. <laughs> and they'll be happy to help, give you advice on their money if you're any good. Yeah. And uh, I would like to also thank the uh, great team from Applicate who, as always, have been extremely supportive and helpful in uh, doing this. So yeah, make some noise for them. It's a special day for us all. I'm, I'm from Applicate, but it isn't me this time. I'm just, I'm just the, the front man. So it's, it's uh, Isa, Dorota and everyone who's actually doing the work to make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, do you want to join us? Okay, so let me do a quick introduction. So Mike is the editor for Tech Crunch Europe. He's been blogging since, and that's what he told me, 1885. So he still remembers the telegraph system and long time. And I'm pretty sure he used to bitch about how pigeons slow, how, how slow pigeons Those were. Those pigeons were so slow. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking slow. Yeah. So uh, right now he's uh, he's a great friend. He's supporting European startups. He is. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, he's he's there to help us. He's he's there to you know share what he knows. The, I'll be there by your bedside. <laughs> And um, so the story goes, in 2006, Mike, um, uh, Mike Butcher ran into them, not, not quite, you know, uh, it wasn't quite an uh, accident, but he ran into Mike Arrington from TechCrunch.com um, in a bar in London, and that's how the, thing, the whole thing started, with TechCrunch. But since that time, he's, he's done a lot of impressive work. I've been in a lot more bars. Exactly, exactly. And, and you know, there is a bigger story how, how we've met Mike and how, um, yeah, but it's a story for later. If anybody want to talk about it, I'm happy <laughs> to share. And yeah, like you, you should definitely try to catch him after, uh, after his presentation and talk. And he's, he's, he's just this super smart, super helpful and super sweet guy. So, you know, we'll start, we'll start with your presentation and then I'll have some questions. You guys will have some questions, I'm sure. And let's see how, where it takes us. Thank you. That's the best introduction I've ever had. <laughs> Thank you very well. much. Actually, uh, uh, I actually should add that the reason that we know each other is uh, just a uh, tiny quick story. Is that three years ago I was at a, a startup event in Warsaw and wasn't finding it very good to be honest with you. And met a guy who said, oh, it's awesome in Krakow, come down. And I said, when? He said, now. There's a train leaving in half an hour. So I came down Krakow, got here at midnight, didn't have a hotel room, and he said, well, chuck your bags in this hotel, we found a hotel, come out to dinner with, uh, uh, with a couple of people and I'll introduce you. And Ella was there and we ended up uh, making friends and having a few drinks and then I went around and saw Applicate the next day. This is three years ago. And uh, then the startup scene was, you know, small kind of thing and there's lots of agencies and people like that. And now, here you all are. So that's fantastic. So congratulations, you guys are doing a great job. Um, but anyway, the reason I'm here is to just help you 
understand how kind of blogs and TechCrunch and stuff works. You know, what the hell? Everybody got asked me, how do you get on TechCrunch, Mike? Well, here's the bloody answer, okay? So, <laughs> and this is probably the last, I've done this talk a couple of times, and so this is, this, you're getting the last one, because from here on, I'm not gonna do it anymore, okay? And uh, so you're getting, getting the last one. Those are my details there. Um, so, what do you want to do? News. This, this is not about, about PR, it's about news. That's the business I'm in. It's about what TechCrunch is about, it's what lots of blogs and websites and news, news websites are about. News is a purple cow, because you don't see many purple cows, do you? And there's an old phrase about, uh, um, you know, news is not when uh, a dog bites a man, because that happens quite a lot, it's when a man bites a dog. Uh, so you have to think about being unusual, standing out from the crowd, uh, being a purple cow. So, and news is about my title and my readers, not your company. But it might be about your company, that's just the na nasty truth. Because we want to get lots of traffic and we want to get lots of great stories, and that's what we're about. And that, see that graph there? That's a, a little story which is, uh, I woke up one morning and I realised a bunch of people were uh, celebrating in um, Times Square in New York. It was very early in the morning in the UK. It was about midnight in New, New York. And uh, I woke up and I realised that they'd found Osama, bin Laden, found Osama Bin Laden and obviously got him. And then uh, I went through Twitter and realised that there was a guy, one guy, in Abbottabad, tweeting about Osama Bin Laden's assassination. There's a lot of helicopters in Abbottabad today. Ooh, what's all that noise? He was tweeting. And um, <laughs> that's the traffic that I got because I found the guy who was tweeting Osama Bin Laden's death. Uh, so that's what I'm all about. I love that stuff. Um, not the death stuff, just the traffic. Um, okay, here's the thing. People come up to me all the time saying, Mike, we're a company, we exist. And I go, that's great. But I, but I don't care. Because it's not news. I want some news. The fact that you exist is not news. The fact that you're doing something awesome might be news. Understand? Uh, so let's talk about that. Do you, know what a bit, you want to be in the news? Get part of the news. Make news. Become part of the news agenda. Now what happened here, do you remember this? When that guy, oh, you guys have got news, right? That lot aeroplane landing recently. <laughs> Would have been like to be that pilot. Um, this, uh, th what happened here was, you remember that, uh, the Hudson Bay river, river landing with the, um, the aircraft that ditched the river and the pilot saved everybody's life. Fantastic. So, a startup actually had an idea, thought, hold on a second, we've got a great, great 3D rendering technology where we can actually model the flight pattern of the, the flight pattern of the aircraft, put it, create a video, put it on YouTube, and we will now be joining the news. And exactly, exactly what they did, and this is the YouTube video they produced, they got so much traffic out of it, so much PR, so much press, uh, they ended up getting a new round of funding, they got tons and tons of publicity out of it. So that's a, a brilliant idea. How do I use this mic? It's kind of weird. I don't know like this. Um, some enchanted evening. Right. So, here's the deal. Conversations beat the press releases. They are much better than press releases. You can do press releases. Eventually you need information. You know, you need kind of a few pieces of information. But it's better to start to get to know the media before you kind of need to talk to them. So talk to them first. Get to know them. Conversate, have a conversation with a journalist. We don't bite much. Um, occasionally we kind of nasty. But we're pretty good. Okay. We're just human beings just like you. Apart from the wires in the back. So, the thing is, the news aren't about embargoes, right? We don't really like embargoes and that kind of shit. Um, you've got to trust the writer. So, if you're going to trust the writer, you have to have the conversation. Um, it's often about launching big and wide, you know, this is the PR thing. Um, by the way, yeah, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you about the secret at the end of this, brother. So, it's about finding the trust, the ones you, you can trust and have that conversation. Um, so it's all about negotiating, negotiating before you shoot. Um, and why would you negotiate? Because news is a fast-paced business, there's a lot of people doing things all the time. And here's why. 
This is a day in the life of a stress tech writer. Quite a lot of incoming. Everybody wants to talk to you. And it's a bit tricky to talk to all of that stuff. So we need, we need to be cognizant of what's going on in the future. So, what, this is what I have on my plate. So I have lots of news stories, some ideas, I've got to write up, I've, I've been to Krakow, I've got to write up all this stuff about your startups, and I've got to arrange a bunch of stuff, etc., etc. And then I get this. Uh, my butcher, hey, we just launched. Ding! Um, and I'm like, okay. Should I click that link or not? <laughs> Well, okay. So, the thing is though, you've got to be better than what I'm working on right now. you got to do okay? Mm -hmm. And, do you feel lucky? Do you think you can feel lucky that that's going to happen? So, maybe you start to think to have the conversation before you launch. So, why don't you think about pre-briefing, send a little email, we're doing something soon, let's talk about it, start the conversation early. So here's some stuff. Um, is how do you negotiate? By the way, I'm going to put all this stuff up on SlideShare. Um, you know, you've got to be ready. Uh, uh, I'm going to read it. La, 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 la. You've got to like negotiate your exclusives. Talk about it now. How? What is the time span? Think about those things. You know, how long are you giving this? You know, think about. Um, and put the substance into the first pitch. Hello. Um, don't be doing like, we've got an announcement, are you interested? I'm like, what the fuck is the announcement? I don't, give me a throw your bone here. We have got an announcement about a new app, it's in social mobile location, full square, competitor, whatever. Are you interested? Okay, might be, is it good, etc. Yeah, fine, okay. Now we can start talking. Right. Uh, don't ask, don't, can I send you a press release? Well, just join the queue, send a press release, hope to. Um, Get to the point. This doesn't really work. This has worked better. Anybody? Uh, prizes for noticing the interesting thing. Okay. Now, don't be a leech. Network. Go to events. Hang around. If people start talking, say, Hey, Mike, have you heard about uh, Ella Mada? She's doing a really awesome startup. You should check it out. I'm like, really? Oh, let's go and talk to her. She's, this networking thing is very useful. And because it becomes a filter for journalists like me to understand how significant somebody is. Uh, your launch party is not news. Mike, this happens to me a lot of the time. Mike, come to our big lunch we're having. Come to our big party. Well, that's great, sure. Love to come to the party. But the thing is, the fact that you're having a party at your event, that's not news. What you're making, what you're creating, that is news. Even better, just make great products, right? If you're going to make a great product and you get traction, that starts to make news for you. And that's the main thing you should, should always think about. Products are always cool to everything. Also, be a great contact. If you've given me information about um, uh, a company that's not, if you've been humble and given me information about another company, and by the way, did you know, etc., etc., Mike? I'm like, oh, okay, that's interesting. Well, I have to go away, and think about it. No. And then the, the keep doing that. Uh, obviously, some journalists from training over there. Um, Keep doing that. Eventually, when it comes to the point that you have to tell, talk to the journalist about something you're doing, they'll go, wow. They'll go, wow, I remember that person. They're a great contact. I'm totally going to listen to her, what they're saying. So if you come from nowhere, if I've never heard, heard from you before at all, and it's a bit harder, do you understand? But to be a great contact, and we love gossip. You know, Mike, um, that CEO who went to Amsterdam, Last week, uh, would you like to hear about his receipts? Yeah, I'd really like to know. Um, okay. Oh, fail, fail, fail. Okay. Also, make your own content. Uh, be a great blogger. Loic Lemur does seismic, um, has 80,000 followers on Twitter. He can virtually announce his own thing. That's not really necessarily advisable because it'll piss off. Uh, the tech bloggers, maybe, but you know, for some things, if you're making your own news, making your own content, you can create your own noise. I shouldn't really be telling you that, that's a secret, 
So just don't tell anybody else, okay? Just, just come to me. I'm just joking. Uh, okay, I'm going to do it. I need new batteries. Um, in other words, make your own news. Okay, so when I do, are you going to be my clicker? Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a teamwork. Teamwork. Um, understand who you're talking to. Mike, we now have a now, we've now got a fantastic new technology. We can communicate with submarines under the Atlantic Ocean. This, this is a great story for TechCrunch. No, oh, it's not. We don't write about submarines necessarily, unless they're doing a web app or something. Um, so understand who you're talking, target the right audience. Um, target the right title, the right audience, target influencers, and a lot of the time national newspapers follow tech bloggers like me, and, and then they use that as a, a way of, ooh, hello, interesting, let's go and talk about that. So pitch to a writer, don't pitch to the title, pitch to the writer, find the writer. Okay. Be quirky. A Russian startup sent me a press release in a box that I had to figure out how it would open. And that was so bizarre. <laughs> so bizarre. The, the company was from Siberia. Maybe they're a bit bizarre in Siberia. Um, so bizarre, I was like, wow! <laughs> um, that's unusual. A lot of the time they, they send you like, uh, I don't know, a packet of biscuits or a bottle of wine. I mean, who cares? I don't care. It's unusual. Be unusual. Be quirky. They're very interesting startups doing things like weird Foursquare things and Google Ads and like, hello, Mike Butcher, you know, I don't know. So keep going. Um, also, uh, don't put your marketing people in front, of the, in front of the camera. Be your own voice, you know. Media likes the people in charge. Um, maybe the only time you really hire a PR firm, it, which usually costs 4,000 pounds a month, retainer, uh, in, certainly in London, is when you've got 20 journalists coming to you and you just can't deal with it. You need to be at that stage. And a lot of the time, you're not really ready for a PR firm until much later in the game. Um, it's really about relationships. That's what PR companies do. So if you can do your own relationships, you're doing your own PR. It, a lot of the time, people say to me, uh, we've launched this amazing thing, and I go, that's great. Uh, who are you competing with? And they say, we're not competing with anybody. There's no, there's no, we don't even have any competitors. We're so amazing and so unique. I go, right, but I know, A, I don't really believe you, and B, you, uh, I'd like more context, because if you can put your company into a context, then it makes it, the media, a bit easier to write about. That's why you hear about we're the YouTube for farms. We're the, I don't know, that's why, we're the, uh, uh, we're the uh, slide share for, you know, documents or something. So that's what you, we understand, it starts, starts to make you understand the things a bit better. Uh, now, eventually, after all this process, you've done every, all of the things I've told you about, and you still don't get coverage, and you're really mad, uh, don't get annoyed, because shit happens. Princesses die. <laughs> and sometimes there's a problem, you know, you have to move on. Now, this is a little story. It's a pitch like a human. A lot of the time, people come up to me and go, I I I'm in the middle of a conversation, something like and someone like that comes up and goes, Hi, Mike, I'm doing a blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, hold on a second, I'm just talking to this person here. You know, give me a break. So just pitch like a human. Another example. <laughs> Hi there. You're Mike Butcher, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, can I tell you about my new startup? <laughs> That's actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> Next. So what's a story? Competition, drama, you're going to kill something. Okay. Next one. Oh, let's not make it. Uh, I feel like it's like the Flintstones. Um, gossip. We've got a gossip on something. Marvellous. 
It's like, we're going to change the world. Okay. Evolution, we're like the X, Y, the Z, blah, blah, blah. Okay. We've created something brand new, amazing. Okay. Something that my favourite. You are the story. You are the 19 year old from Warsaw, she's here, who's created a startup. That's unusual. It's unusual for really young people to do things like this. Uh, or you're the 90 year old who's created a startup. That's unusual too, right? Uh, so if you, that's uh, something unusual. That's a little story. Ashton Kutcher is invested in celebrity is great. And another one is Crack Our Company Hacks Facebook. Please somebody do this, then I'll get a store. Uh, okay, keep going. Right. Uh, this is just blah blah blah. This is like how to. We'll put this on a slideshow, but this is like how to do it. Right. Bullet points. Video embed codes. Crunch base entry. Hyperlink to the logo. Make it easy for us to read really fast because I've got about 20 minutes to do this. And I, if you if you send me all the stuff I'm going to have to do anyway, you've made my job easier. I get the post up faster. Bang! I'm moving on to something else. Don't send me a high-res image. If this is not print, I don't care about high-res images. Um, yeah. So, send us press, plain text, screenshots, links, quotes, uh, other articles about you are good, uh, and contact address. Okay. So, know who to contact, create relationships, have the conversation, network, be unique. Personalise it, target the right piece of people, and lay out their benefits for my readers, okay? Because that's what I want. So, don't walk up to me and say, Mike, uh, you fucking asshole. You didn't cover our press release. Like, um, it usually, sometimes it happens on email. <laughs> um, and we don't need the whole life story. Don't send the, the same thing to hundreds of people. Target, remember target, and etc. Et so keep going. Uh, you, you, you don't want to do that. And uh, don't be vague. Go, go. Now, this is a brief word from our advertisers. Uh, we want everybody here to be work out how to connect with the London scene so that you don't actually have to really locate there if you don't want to. You just have to understand how the scene works and get if you want to raise money there, you want to connect to VCs or angels or to uh, other developers and other startups, this is what we're doing right now. So can, come to Tech Hub, come and hang out. Um, we have beat the conferences, you just join up. Um, there's always something going on. You can just helicopter, you can land at Gatwick or Heathrow, go to Tech Hub and there's all the developers and startups there. Um, we're doing pretty awesome stuff. Um, uh, this is what it looks like. There's always something going on. Uh, we've heard a ton of press so far. Okay, and but you don't care about that. How do we get on the rush? Basically, you just get a tattoo there. That's how you get on the rush. Okay, thank you very much.